Wellspring Church of All Nations presents Screams in the Desert, hosted by Pastors George and Sharon Stokely. dynamic Las Vegas couple bring the life-changing Word of God alive through anointed prophetic ministry. Their teaching causes mountain-moving faith to bring the victory of God's love to bear on the everyday issues of life. Join George and Sharon now as they share with you the secrets and joys of a fulfilling, abundant, spirit-filled, and spirit-led life. Hi, I'm Pastor George Stover. Wellspring Church of All Nations in Las Vegas, and uh, I hope you're ready for stage six in the Development of Disloyalty series. Stage six, a competitive spirit. Uh, read with me, if you will, Galatians chapter six, uh, verse three. Galatians chapter six, verse three. I'll get it here. Galatians chapter 6, verse 3, uh, says, If anyone thinks he is something when he's nothing, he deceives himself. Maybe I ought to read that again. What do you think? If anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Uh, we're talking today about the development of a competitive spirit on the heels of pride and on the heels of uh, stage five, a critical spirit. There's the development then of a competitive spirit. Let's go also to Matthew uh, chapter seven, verse three, Matthew chapter seven, verse three, where we can read, um, why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay it no attention to the plank in your own eye? Well, of course, we always like to re refer that to others uh, rather than to ourselves. But if we're really of a humble spirit, if we're really of a contrite spirit, uh, a yielded spirit, we'll be able to do that. To, to look at ourselves instead of always trying to apply Scripture to everybody else. <laughs> Amen. So we're talking today about stage six, the development of a competitive spirit. Because of the moat in his own eye, this person can no longer exercise right judgment. Because of the moat in his eye, a person can no longer exercise right judgment, begins to develop a competitive spirit in regard to his leaders, and at times must distort facts to feed his ego. Now, now God doesn't, doesn't destroy the ego of man or get rid of his ego. What he does is sanctifies it. It needs to yield to the Lordship of Christ and to be transformed to be sanctified, set apart unto God. And uh, if, if a person begins to develop a competitive spirit in regard to his leaders, then he's going to begin to distort facts. That makes him a liar. Who's the father of lies? Well, of course, it's the devil. And, and so we've given an inroad into the demonic uh, realm into our lives. We've allowed the demonic realm to begin to influence our lives. We begin to distort facts. That's what every cult does. They take a certain amount of truth, but they begin to distort certain facts to get people to believe like they believe. And by distorting uh, the views of leadership and contrasting them with his own views, then he's able to gain a measure of recognition from others around him. And so this competitiveness begins to develop. 
my thoughts are better than your thoughts. You know, my dog's better than your dog. My, my ideas are better. And uh, uh, they just don't understand how wonderful I am and how much better my ideas are. Uh, I remember my first pastor uh, hired some associate pastors from a couple of well-known Bible schools. Uh, uh, I, I don't want to mention which ones they were because I'm not trying to, to cast a, 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 a bad light on them. They're not responsible for the inner integrity of every person they graduate, although they work very hard to, to improve that, to correct that. But uh, they came in, they were young, and uh, all of a sudden, they, as they, they hung around, they began to decide they knew better than the pastor. Their way was better than the pastor. The pastor just wasn't in touch with the people and so on and so forth. And what they did was split the church horribly. They destroyed a work that, uh, that was uh, saving literally thousands of people and and hundreds of people went into the ministry as a result of this ministry in just a five-year period it was fantastic but because of this competitiveness allowing this spirit of competition to get in are you going to like me better than the pastor or the other teacher uh, they they would uh, they were given Wednesday night services, and of course, all you could hear from them was, "Boy, Wednesday nights are better than Sunday mornings. Wednesday nights, you're going to hear uh, greater truth than you could ever hear from the pulpit on Sunday, and uh, we we <laughs> we love you more than." Pastor loves you. I mean, it just, there were so many things. And there was this competitiveness that I need to be, uh, uh, I need to be seen more. I need to be heard more. I need to be regarded more. I need to be esteemed more. Once that happens, beloved, it's all over but the shouting. Uh, you'll tear a work of God apart. You say, well, if it's God, it won't come apart. Excuse me. He uses people like you and like me. And it's our responsibility to be a people of integrity, to be a people who do the right thing. Even, even when we feel like it's not moving as fast as we'd like it to, even if we're not being regarded as much as we think we should, even if others seem to get more recognition than us, it's not about you and it's not about me. It's about him, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Our Savior is the one who called us and he leads us by his Spirit. And he has established the order of leadership, and we need to yield to it. And if we don't learn how to yield and not be competitive, we will never achieve what we hope to achieve. Oh, those, those pastors, they split the church. They started their own churches, and they were fraught with strife and sickness and all manner of evil. I love you. God bless you. We'll talk more next time. Brought to you by Wellspring Ministries and Pastors George and Sharon Stover. We count it as a privilege and an honor to bring you the life-changing Word of God. To contact Wellspring Ministries, write us at 8140 West Lone Mountain Road, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89129. Or give us a call at 702-631-5027. Our email is wecan at wellspringministries.com. Visit our website at www.wellspringministries.com. Streaming live 24 hours a day at www.streamsinthedesert.tv.